Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to a short Skyrim creation kit video. Uh, today I'm just going to be showing you a few uh, small fixes to the odd glitch that you get in the creation kit. Uh, the main thing that I'm going to show you and the first thing is going to be how to be able to mod Dawnguard because people have been trying to load the ESM for Dawnguard and then experiencing uh, issues where it just crashes the kit. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to actually need to edit an ini file uh, called the Skyrim Editor ini file. So to do this you need to go into your program files, uh, wherever you've got Skyrim installed, go into Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim, and then get this list here. So just check along there for the root. Uh, that's where it is on mine, that's where it is on most people's, it might be slightly different for your own, but you just need to find this directory. Uh, go under Skyrim Editor there, double click on that, you should get it open in Notepad, uh, if not then you need to obviously right click open it with Notepad. Scroll right down near the bottom and you'll get to archive and we want the one at the bottom of archive, S resource archive list 2. And as you can see, it lists a few things here including our update BSA. And what you need to do is you add the, you just need to add this little line here, dawnguard.bsa. So you put a comma after the update one space dawnguard BSA save and it is actually as simple as that and now you'll be able to load up dawn guard i'll just show you how exactly that needs to be done so when you go to open up your uh, your file usually open up the Skyrim and your update esms uh, this time you wouldn't do that if you want to edit dawn guard or anything or dawn guard related at all it's just the dawn guard one on its own and use that as the general master file and it does pull the uh, the rest of the game in with it and then obviously you either start from scratch or create sorry or select a current mod so that's how you do that and when it's loaded uh, this moves on to the next problem that we've uh, we've all been experiencing since the creation kit update or at least I have I know a few others have is basically as soon as we've loaded up to make a new mod and um, we've done a few things and then we go to save and this window here just stays blank crashes and the kit crashes and you've lost all your work uh, anything that you've done from the start when you started making it um, so the one way nice quick fix I've got around it obviously uh, there's two ways uh, one is that you can reinstall the entire kit tends to fix it for a short time and the other one is to just before you've even edited anything made anything touched anything as soon as you've loaded up just save straight away so that tends to do it, it's weird. As soon as you've touched anything it glitches, but if you just save before you've even done anything, that tends to solve the problem. So it's just probably good just to get into the habit of save uh, every time you go to make a new mod before you've even modded anything. Uh, the one other thing I'm going to mention is the grey face problem that people have with their mods. Uh, something I'm going to mention about this is it won't work for everybody else. Uh, this is something that will only work for the mod on your machine. So you'd usually click on the actor that's got the issue, the grey face, and you'll hold down control and press F4. And you get this little menu here saying confirm to export the gen data for all selected NPCs. So obviously you can highlight multiple ones as well. Uh, I'm going to go no, but you'll go ahead and click yes, OK, and now you'll notice that when you go in game, your NPC's face will no longer be grey, and all their face paint and everything else should be on there. So, um, like I said, you'd have to get everyone else that downloads your mod, unfortunately, they would have to do that themselves as well, so open up your, your mod file and uh, all do that themselves. Uh, there might be a way of actually putting it into the archive, uh, the face data, but uh, you'll have to explore that yourselves. So that was just a, a few little fixes to some general creation kit problems. So uh, I hope it was uh, helpful in a few ways, especially the Dawn Guard modding one. So thank you for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.